Yo guys, this is Luke Wall here, and I am, I'm going to apologize right now for not uploading on Friday. Friday was basically like an unexpected day. I literally went to Galveston, all because my friend Jacob and Kyle wanted to do some volunteering stuff, and we literally just sat around, listened to the person, actually we didn't even sat around, we actually stand up, listen to a, per a person talk about the volunteering thing. It was all about like wildlife and nature and stuff like that. I didn't really want to get bet that much into it. But I didn't really do that much. I literally just like played a little bit of Fortnite, actually streamed Fortnite, and that was actually a really good stream. Thank you guys for coming out. And also speaking of Fortnite, thank you guys for actually giving so much support to the Fortnite funny moments video. It did not hit over 100 views, which is what I expected, but quite a bit of people told me to do more of those videos and try to do more funny moments type Fortnite videos. So I might be turning that into a weekly series. I already got more footage to edit so that I can have more funny moments videos. So hopefully I can make that into a weekly series if you guys are down for that. But let's talk about the title of this video. You found a couple of rare shoes. Let's start off with saying if you guys are not aware or you're probably like new to the channel, so this week I took a whole entire week off of work. And the reason why I did that is I had to go to something that is called jury duty. And I don't want to bore you guys what, what jury duty is. It's basically something that has to do with the courtroom and you have to listen to a case and blah, 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 blah. And anyone who's over the age of 18 has to do it unless they're like exempt from some things. But I got picked for this week. You basically just go into a courtroom and then you basically got to sit down and listen if your number gets called or like if your name gets called, you got to go to this courtroom at this specific time it's a lot of sitting down and listening and blah 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 my number didn't get picked in fact my number didn't get picked in fact no one got picked that day so we all were on call which we had to keep calling up the courthouse to see if our number was called or not so i left the courthouse at like an hour later got some taco bell and then went back to my house since literally like my house and the courthouse is like almost like an hour away. So what I did to pass the time because my parents didn't expect me to come back very early, I started going to stores. Like I went to like Target, I went to Walmart, I went to Best Buy, I went to a lot of tech stores as well as some stores just so I can look at pops to see if like there's any good pops out there that I might want to purchase. And then just out of curiosity, I just decided to go do a Goodwill. What I usually do at Goodwill is I usually find two things. One, either some nice, Jordan shoes or some comic book t-shirts. I looked all around and all of a sudden I just looked at the shoe rack and then I saw these perfectly good condition Jordan 1 shoes that I'm just like you have got to be kidding me and what made me catch my eye is if you guys are familiar with the brand Gucci literally it said Gucci on the laces so i quickly grabbed the shoes and went into the dressing room in the dressing room i was just researching these type of shoes like why are these in so good condition what type of shoes are these will they sell for a lot of money because that's what i used to do if you guys don't know i used to sell hats i used to sell shoes i used to sell those like on ebay and make a profit off of these sooner or later i didn't take it that serious so that's why i don't do it as much i keep searching for these shoes and there was no such thing as a jordan and gucci collab however these shoes that I'm about to show you were made back in the year 2009. So what you're looking at right here, these shoes were made back in the year 2009 and these are the Jordan 1 elephant print brown shoes and the laces are the only things that need to be changed because I thought these was a Gucci and Jordan collab. I don't know why I thought that way but obviously i had to do my research and obviously this is just a rare shoe to come by perfectly in condition like sure that we need to clean that off and that i need to take that sticker off but the soles are doesn't even look like it's been worn as much it's still like perfectly intact the strap was still a part of it like this is something that you do not come by on a daily basis and that day, I didn't even think I was going to get anything like at a Goodwill, but I found these shoes perfectly in condition. You can still see the Nike symbol right there. You can see the the iconic shoe print that you see on a Jordan. Like the fact that these were made like almost 10 years ago and I found them right now. I can imagine how some people would be very excited for these shoes because I know there's a community like somewhere like out there they're called like hypebeast or sneakerheads and stuff like that. I know a sneakerhead would want to have a shoe that was made back 10 years ago and 
This is the shoe right here, a Jordan 1 brown elephant print or like some type of ginger. It's like a ginger type color that I've noticed. I'm um, the only wear that I've only seen is that it's a little bit creased in some parts. This is like a little bit rubbish. Like it needs to be a little bit cleaned off right here. I mean, the sole is flawless. It hasn't been rubbed down. This needs to be cleaned off like this Sharpie part right over here. I need to replace the laces. I need to put on some like white laces especially the right size as well and then you got here a refurbished 2009 jordan one right over here i mean i don't know just something to talk about because i know a lot of you guys don't really see me as like a shoe person or like anything in terms of like clothing personally i am not into clothing as much i'm starting to get into clothing actually because i want to like like dress up as like a slick modern style superhero i mean i just love the design of the jordan ones i've always loved these like ever since i've gotten my first ever jordan one pair which was actually from a thrift store and they were like these bright orange shoes and i put them on wore them my first freshman year and people love them even my driving instructor they love the fact that i have very bright orange shoes that was the first time i ever wore like a jordan shoe and then advanced up to my blue jordan shoes and then I bought up my red Jordan 1 shoes that are right over here, my red suede. Now, I, they're probably far away, but they're right over there. You can kind of see them right there. It's like the Jordan 1 red shoes. By the way, don't mind the UFC fighting. I'm actually watching the Joe Weller and KSI fight as of right now. Right now they're doing like these weird type matches where they're just like getting other YouTubers to fight. But like I am waiting for the one and only KSI and Joe Weller to fight on right now. But we're getting off topic. What do you guys think about this? I don't know if any of you guys are like into like a into like those basketball shoes or into like just Jordan in general or just like clothing in general because I know a lot of gamers aren't really into clothing or better yet not really into like these type of brand but I don't know what type of style would I make these brown shoes like tell me guys in the comment down below what do you guys think this shoe reminds you of honestly and some person has actually told me this they think this is like a root beer type shoe that would be funny if I rock like an a and w like t-shirt with like some like a brown leather jacket or like some brown jacket and wear these shoes i think that would be fire as hell and i kind of have a collection going if you haven't really noticed so i have these i have these red suede shoes i have a little bit of wear and oh i need to clean that that is that is disgusting come on that is ew i need to clean these shoes because these shoes do not need to be dirty then i have my beaten down shoes that kind of deserve to be dirty like literally this is disgusting the sole is falling out a little bit of dirt and tear the sole is still a little bit kind of good but a little bit run down and part of the shoe is like just falling out like you can even see the sole is gluing off then we have the holy grails right here the jordan one ginger whatever it is merida or whatever it's called all i know is this shoe is rare I don't know, just something to get off my chest because I know every time I show these to my friends, they are a little bit annoyed by it because they're not really in the shoes, they're not really in the Jordans, they're not really into like, well, shoes in general. Because these people love like Sperry's, I think Austin's the one that kind of likes the Jordan shoes. As well as Isaac, he also wears Jordan shoes from time to time. But I don't know, it's just something to talk about because this is just such a weird time for me to find shoes. Me coming out of jury duty and find these perfectly good in condition. 2009 Jordan 1 that that uh, to me I think that's just amazing someone who took really good care of these shoes for like almost 10 years but I'm just gonna relax I need to watch the KSI and Joe Weller fight I see Keemstar on the screen right now that man Keemstar you are looking fresh right now but anyways hope you guys enjoyed that's what we did until then fall out